In late 1939, the Nazis started rounding up people in the streets in Warsaw, for example, and we can see from the recollections of Cherniakov and others um, about what actually happened, the state which people were in, those that did return, or the, the letters from those that were brought here and to other places. The uh, Jewish Council itself decided perhaps it ought to organise the people who were sent away for slave labour, uh, rather than let the Nazis do it, to make it somehow uh, uh, take a bit of the terror out of it or whatever. Um, of course, it just worked out was that the, the Jewish Council was doing the Nazis' dirty work for them. Um, one of the things that happened in the winter of 1939-1940, there was uh, typhus broke out. Now, typhus is a disease which is quite difficult to, to define because it varies from language to language. Um, from English to German to Polish, for example, it's uh, uh, different, different words. I won't go into that now, I've done it, but I've gone into it in the past. Now, uh, during this uh, outbreak of typhus, uh, the Nazi cure was that to bring people to this pond here that we've got, and to force the people to be under water, stay under water for two minutes. I think it was two minutes, I can't remember. Uh, but anybody who failed to do that, his head popped up beforehand, was shot. And the people who were brought here were often in really weak condition anyway, so it would be unlikely that they would survive this, this bath and even if they did survive the time uh, which had to be underwater, given that they were completely wet uh, again in winter, they wouldn't have stood much chance of much longer survival. Incidentally, the person who told me that was an eyewitness from here, from Beaujitz. And from this spot here, you've got a view of the camp itself which is there. The building itself incidentally is falling apart. You can see that from here. I've never actually been in that, that building there, that barrack. Uh, we tried to get in once before, but there was a dog looked a bit on the vicious side once we jumped over the fence, so we jumped uh, back over the fence. Quite sharpish. 